Hi guys and ladies, a subscriber, Thai man, asked me to make a stir fry, and I assume he means with fish. Well, most stir fries have some unobtainable ingredient, but I found one that looks easy and tasty, and I've got all the ingredients. Ah, 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 except one, you know what it is. It's the fish. Let's try to pick some up. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. I still remember when I caught that six pound bass early this spring and I was using this. It's a Z-Man TRD. I have a growing affection for it. Well, now we're in the dog days of summer, but maybe we can use this little guy to cull some small bass or bluegill. Let's get in the boat and give it a try. This little guy came right at the boat, very puny, but we need to call him, say the scientist, so we're taking him out. All the little ones under 12 inches come out. Yes. Another little guy, oh, gotta remove him. Fourteen and a half inches, nice. Let's put him back in the water. That's more like it. That's a great eating fish. <laughs> 11 and a half inches. We need to remove him. That one, I think. Oh, dear, I think it's a bluegill. I knew I could catch bluegill on this lure. And bluegill are so tasty. And this is a big one. Look at that. Nine inches. Got one. Right at the boat. Whoa. Gee, golly. He just took it like and ran off with it right at the boat again. Perfect eating size, I can tell already. I got one. It's a big one. Whoa! Oh, stay on. Stay on. Whoa! It's too big. A lot of fun to catch anyway. 13 and one half inches. Looky here. Clear blue skies and strong winds made fishing really tough today, but we might have enough for our stir fry. Well, there's plenty more anyway in the freezer. So let's get in the house and fillet our little guys. And tomorrow we'll try our stir fry.
here it is the next day. How did I totally delete the battle I had with that big bass? I don't know where it went. Anyway, despite 20 mile an hour winds, look, I was able to get over a pound of nice fish fillets for this bass stir fry recipe, and that should be enough. So let's get right into making this Asian dish. Here, I've, I've peeled some ginger. Now I have to try to make these into like little matchsticks. I'm tired of this. This is plenty. Look at how much. I need to do the same with one quarter of a red bell pepper. Well, one quarter of a pepper isn't anything. Let's do a little more, maybe half. Now I've got four big green onions. I'm supposed to rough chop these. There they go, rolling away from me. I've got this skillet here on medium and I've got some peanut oil. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of it. This is actually a Cambodian recipe. Cambodians love their peanuts. You could use any oil. I've got our ginger here. I'm gonna cook it in the oil for between five and seven minutes. I'll shoot for six minutes and 17 seconds. Let's mix it up. Oh, the smell of this. I looked it up in Cambodian, you would say, Klen Ri Klen. Oh, the Klen Ri Klen. Khmer, Khmer Rouge, I don't know. So good, it smells. Mm. It's time to add our bass. I don't know where they go, I guess right on top. I'm going to try to squeeze them all in here. Start with the bigger ones first. I'm only gonna partially cook these. I'm gonna let them go about a minute on each side. It's flipping time. I'm gonna get these out to a plate and we'll make up some sauce. What Asian stir fry doesn't get served with rice? And here I have it. Ah, 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 this is not ordinary rice. This is herbed cauliflower rice. And I'm gonna do up two bags of this in the microwave. Takes just five minutes. Also, gotta have broccoli with a stir fry, right? Well, I've got teriyaki broccoli. Couple minutes in the microwave is all you need. It's back to our sauce. Look at this. This is called fish sauce. Two tablespoons, this stuff is uh, pungent. Pun but you know, it's kind of a good pungent, if you like pungent. Low sodium soy sauce, one tablespoon. Oyster sauce, one tablespoon. This isn't even in the recipe, but I like it. It's stir fry sauce, it gives it a little kick. It's real savory and rich, and it's got some heat. Look what I found at the supermarket. A pound of already sliced onions. Let's put that in. Whoa. Here's our red bell pepper. Put that in there. Little color. Let's let it go five minutes. Hey, doesn't this look good? I, I let it go for like 10 minutes instead of five because I like my onions a bit softer. And I added more fish sauce because I have so many onions and I want a lot of sauce. And now look. It's time to add the fish. And I don't care if it breaks up. It's a stir fry, it's supposed to break up. Let's sauce everything. I'm gonna let this cook an additional three minutes. I let this go for five minutes now. Let me try some of the fish and some onion. Hmm, oh, this is wonderful. I really, I'm serious, you don't need salt or pepper. The sauce provides all the seasoning you need and the fish is so good this way. You're gonna love this, try this. While our dinner is keeping warm in the oven, I ought to tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheats, has accepted my invitation for dinner tonight and I'm thrilled. Um, although I, I think I've hit upon the reason why after decades she may still be reluctant to consider marriage with me. You see, I have a, a lot of little habits, uh, maybe even obsessions, and maybe one or two uh, gets under her skin. I think I'll ask her.
Here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you once again for joining me here at my uh, classless collapsing cabin. And you had a chance to devour my bass stir fry with fake rice and teriyaki. Uh, broccoli and I was just wondering what you thought. It was very good. It was like eating at a Chinese restaurant Ooh. and the ginger was very savory oh, yeah, on the ginger. fish ginger. and the uh, side dishes were tasty and I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. Mm, thank you so much. Yes. Miss Cheeks, oh I, I, I can say Lulu now. Uh, sometimes I get a feeling that uh, certain quirks of mine might be keeping us apart. Uh, maybe one or two. Uh, I, I might as well come out and ask you, are, are you put off because, well, I crack my uh, knuckles or I pick my teeth with a steak knife or I talk about fishing incessantly or all I serve is fish for you uh, or I rarely hear anything you say or maybe because I watch war documentaries uh, constantly or that I never take my cap off even at funerals or that I actually believe the Browns will win the Super Bowl. Yes, 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 yes and yes. Well, a at least I know I, I have a lot to work on. Um, uh, can I have a hug? Yes. Uh,